BIM tools and techniques for masonry are here. See how we use them. Where to find them. And how they keep us working. The use of BIM is expanding quickly within the construction industry, and masonry needs to be a part of this technology. I'm Nick Lang, Director of Research and Development for the National Concrete Masonry Association. In 2012, a consortium of U.S. and Canadian manufacturers, suppliers, contractors, masons, and designers came together to create the bim -M Initiative. The mission statement of this initiative is to unify the masonry industry and create new tools, techniques, and resources for the use of BIM within masonry. We've made great strides recently in accomplishing these goals, and we have a lot of new and exciting things to tell you about. So BIM stands for both Building Information Model and Building Information Model. The model is a digital representation of a building that pulls together all of the various components, processes, and systems into one model that contains all the necessary information for a building. The modeling process enables all the people involved with the building, from the architects to the engineers, material suppliers, contractors, and owners, to read and write from the same model to create efficiencies, synergies, and make the process simpler and easier for everyone. I'm Jamie Davis. I'm a structural engineer. I'm the chair of the TMS BIM for Masonry Committee, and I'm a principal at Ryan Biggs Clark Davis. So BIM is really the biggest shift in our industry since we came off of the hand drafting boards and went to CAD. But it's even bigger than that because even with CAD, we're still collaborating in a 2D space and now all the collaboration is happening in a 3D space and it's much more powerful. BIM is all element based so when you select something in the model it actually comes up with all of its properties along with it. You can see right down into the building to the masonry walls, the veneer, the plank and even right down to the sinks. If you wanted to move a bearing wall you would simply move that bearing wall out of your model and all of the connecting elements would move with it. So the BIM-M initiative has done a great job of looking into the tools that we currently have available in Revit and finding areas where it could be approved for masonry. Um, for an example, hatching patterns, the hatch patterns that come out of the box from Revit are not very usable or friendly for a designer. They're actually not intelligent, it's just like a picture of a hatch pattern on the wall. Through the BIM-M initiative, we now have tools where we can represent hatching in a smarter fashion so that you can easily coordinate your coursing. I'm David Biggs from Biggs Consulting Engineering and I'm the coordinator for the BIM-M initiative. BIM-M has shown that the industry can work together for the advancement of a key topic and this has to continue. One product we just released is the Masonry Content Pack for Autodesk Revit. This is a digital library that is a free download to users and provides masonry elements such as CMU bond beams and vertically grouted cells. It also creates movement joints for clay brick and CMU veneers. We have families of arches, wall types, and profiles of various architectural shapes. And I would think you'll find this very useful in implementing into the design of masonry. So we downloaded the free masonry pack and loaded it into our BIM for this project. And once it's loaded into Revit, you get an extra toolbar called Express Tools. And from that, you have 3D and 2D data that you can pull into your model that is just for masonry objects. So now, when you do a section cut of this wall, you can actually see where all of your bond beams are. Now you instantly know whether your structure is in coursing, whether you're in coursing for your windows, and you can do the appropriate coordination. Our key instructional tool is our BIM for Masonry Autodesk Revit Guide. This Autodesk Revit Guide is useful for learning how to implement masonry into designs. Again, it's a free download, and it also comes with two uh, actual Revit models that users can correlate to the guide. 
BIMM has a library of promotional and instructional videos. If you don't have time to go through the whole Revit guide, or just need some pointers on a topic, you'll like the BIMM instructional videos. Each is less than 10 minutes. The first addresses hatch patterns, which provides masonry bonding and eliminates wallpaper patterns. So the hatch pattern video will show how to actually depict coursing and bonding on a wall that really represents the actual coursing and bonding so that designers can coordinate with that and make sure that your structure is actually in coursing, that your window heads are in coursing. So it's a very valuable tool. We have a guide for contractors to help them get started in BIM for masonry. What makes this guide so unique and useful is that it was written by mason contractors for contractors. Besides presenting options for getting into BIM, the guide includes numerous examples of real projects where the contractors use 3D modeling as an entry into BIM. They chose to use modeling without being prompted or mandated by a CM or GC. With your support, we will continue to update and improve the tools and processes that we have for BIM for Masonry. I'm Brett Sherman. I'm president of Alliance Masonry Corp. We're located in Binghamton, New York. We're a union company. From my experience in working with BIM, um, even from the beginning on our first project, um, it was very helpful um, in a number of ways and made us more productive in the field. It, it initially provided a quantity check, um, any special shapes. Um, it also provided a check on that, which is very helpful. Um, you don't want to run out of special shapes on a job. It also is very helpful to our field superintendents. They can take the BIM model, see a 3D um, uh, projection of what the project's going to look like, and it helps them plan scaffolding, um, material deliveries, and how they're going to access different areas of the project. Um, so it was extremely helpful. My name is Rick Roach. I'm president of Barnes & Cohn in Syracuse, New York, and current chairman of the National Concrete Masonry Association Foundation. As a manufacturer, one of the great benefits of BIM for me is that often on a job site, we may have 50 different shapes and sizes on a project. And it's a real juggling match to try to get manufacturing in time to keep the job moving. So BIM, with their shop drawings, with their takeoffs, it really allows the mason to be more accurate and give us more time for manufacturing. My name is Mike Palmer. I am part owner and general manager of Remlap Construction. I am also the president of the local MCAA chapter here in Syracuse, New York. I've been in this business for 40 years, and the one thing I can offer sure is technology is a tool for us all to use. BIM is the latest technology at our disposal, BIM for masonry, and it's probably the most advantageous technology we've had in 25 years. It can help us in the estimating, it can help us in the negotiation, and help us in the in the execution of the project. The next goal for BIM-M is to continue to create better tools and techniques and to get them into the hands of designers and contractors. BIM for masonry. Smarter. Faster. Stronger. Better.